Hi, this is Coach Rudy, and I'm going to do a session, a mock session, um, actually a session, and um, I was asked before this to do a case study on someone, so I'm going to do a case study on Simone, right? Okay, and um, she's a 25-year-old and um, female who is in school, um, it's for it's business. a college, a business college. Mm -hmm. business okay, she's gonna be a business specialist. She's a mother of a little girl, and has a boyfriend. Um, she wanted to know before what were the steps to start her event planning business or now a YouTube video. Okay, well, with the event planning, she would have had to have a car and. Um, driver's license and all that. And I, I think when I talked to you, you didn't have that, so we'll, you'll have to put that on your list to get. Okay, anywho, um, the YouTube video. Okay, um, when you're starting a YouTube video, okay, you got to know like what subject you want to talk about. So you would do your research on the subject that interests you first, okay? So you do your research online, Google possibly and uh, other search engines on things that interest you like for instance um, then you look and see what's popular too because if you're trying to do it for ratings then you do it for what's most popular if you uh, are doing it for something heart-centered something you just that's approaching you that you want to get the message out then you just go for it no worry about the you know um, the views at the time because what's going to happen is the universe is going to bring you the views because you came from the heart. It can sense it and it's going to bring the views or the Almighty Father can bring you the views. Okay, so that's what I would start with at that point. What's stopping you now? Um, it's uh, really technology. Um, okay. Not the lack of uh, internet service. Okay. Um, a little disorganized. Okay. Um, really, I just don't have the equipment I would like to have. So, you know, technology. Okay. Okay. So, um, hello, Kitty. So, what had happened was she spoken about. I know you heard it, but she spoke about the technology. Okay, she does have a computer, and what I would say is if your computer has a video as such as mine, this will not stop you. All you have to do, if you do have a video, then what you'll do is make the videos on the subject you want. Bear in mind the time frame, because it takes a while to upload to YouTube, so the time frame. Okay, so you do have a computer or a laptop, so you could do that. Um, you also, do you have a, um, do you have a tablet? Yes, but it's not fully functional. But that's okay. We'll work with the laptop. And so you can make your videos all throughout the laptop and just store them until you get to internet. Okay, you do have Wi-Fi access, don't you? When you go to McDonald's, Starbucks, and so and so. Yes, other places, yes. Very good. Then you can upload it there instead of picking back in the But it's the lighting as well in the background. Oh. Like the effects with the, like I worry about the effects on my video. Okay. Well, um, special effects. Okay, we'll talk about effects. <laughs> now, when I am doing the video and I want the lighting to be a certain lighting, I have been doing it at the library before in their little room with the light. It was there and I had the privacy and I always let them know at the desk, hey, I'm going to do my video. You have a room I can do this in? And so I go and do the video and let it out. And sometimes I even get a video out and it's the time to emotionally let things out. So if someone had a bad day and I want to talk about it and I don't want to book a session with someone at that time then I would be like well let me just go ahead and get this video out so that way I can release the pressure that is in, within me that would make me feel erratic or agitated for that say, that time but then again if as I got it out it may help someone else to actually release the tension as well so therefore you can 
like I was go back and say you can go to the library and get that done uh, you can go some places that have that little room because they also have a conference room and the conference room is of course is for conferences and meetings and all that good stuff but you know if you look at it in a way that they don't have any other rooms available and the conference room is there you can look at it as I've got my YouTube uh, audience and this is my conference to the world and therefore yes I'm gonna use your conference room for this amount of time so therefore here we go I'm doing my video and or you can even do the Google hangout videos there too okay now you say disorganized okay um, organization takes time and some people can just like off the bat get their self organized some people it takes time it depends on the mindset of what you want to do now organization can go from things like um, you say you want to get organized I, I'm trying to get the understanding of your disorganization for is the video when you're coming to the when you're dealing with a YouTube video yes. you have to make sure you know what you want to do and how you're going to organize it and say I do a video on um, how to succeed in whatever maybe as a student and I start talking about I don't know perseverance or something like that and then you know I move on to imagining or something like that and there could be could have been something that could have been also listed under perseverance you know what I mean in that other video and I forgot it do I have to make another video for perseverance and then it gets disorganized and the viewers are like what is this because I've looked at other people's videos like that okay when I am approaching a subject and I have a lot going on in my mind because I do uh, according to my doctor ADDH or either ADHD so what I do is I take the subject and it depends on like you said perseverance so I would take the subject in which I'm gonna talk about and then I would do like a brainstorm so I'd be like a circle or I can do a vine a Venn diagram that says this is what I'm gonna talk about and I put all those things inside there and as I look down or can see it I can speak about it at that time that's there because that sometimes you you don't have to have like this big script sometimes it just comes flows you know and if 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 you have that trigger keyword then you can it could flow so I believe if you write it down in whatever or either you you do the brainstorming where you have the little looks like a little sign but you put in in the middle what your main subject is and then your out branches of what you want to speak about and that's how you can get a little more organized when it comes to the YouTube videos and things like that that's how I would approach it so um, well now that we spoke about that is there anything else you want to speak about uh, do, do you feel comfortable now um, on approaching doing the videos yes yes I do okay um, this disorganization um, that's good you spoke about that um, do you want to uh, I mean, if it was something deeper you probably would have did a tap you know so before we started this conversation you were on a zero to ten what level were you on ten being intensity of oh my gosh I just don't know what I want to do to zero to I think I'm feeling better you know what well, more started. like I feel I'm confident I'm, I can do what I want to do yeah when you first well, started can be ready to do it yeah um, so before you started it was a before we started talking there was um, I'm smiling because I can't remember what you said was zero was or ten was <laughs> zero was I'm going I, I I'm 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 confident I'm gonna do it. Okay, so and then to, a, through ten is like the ten is the. Can I do I'm like a point? Yes, like a, yes. Like a seven point five or like a six point five? Yes. Let's do like a six point five. I want to say. You were at a six point five where you felt that um, you were not uh, available. Well, didn't feel like you. I felt you were, like I. I felt inside that I wanted to do it. I had a drive to do it on the inside. Yes. But I, on the outside layer, it was like, oh, you're not ready yet. 
Okay. So there was the doubt in, you know. Okay. Doubt. Okay. You spoke of doubt. Okay. So it's almost like a confidence level that we have to deal with as well. Okay. So um, we have those two. So however, you were at that. And uh, now, how do you feel about that that we've spoken? About I feel pretty good. I feel like I could uh, at least try to put out maybe two videos. And then since you told me that technique, I can uh, go to um, wherever there's Wi-Fi and then just upload it there. Oh, okay. Uh, so a, a number? Could you could you give me a number, please? Oh, you wanted a number. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. I, I want a number. Well, <laughs> I would say it's more of a two now. Oh, wow. Like See? Close to one. That's two. wonderful. That's wonderful. Moving from a seven to a, a two or a one, even a ten from whatever. Oh, my God. That's great. Okay. So um, now we're going to work on your doubt and your confidence. But it looks like your confidence went back up and your doubt. Now, the doubt, was it because of... What would you say your doubt was about? I mean, was it anybody would be interested in my videos? Oh, interest. Okay. Were you afraid to fail? Yeah. That's usually where, where the fear comes from, is, is a failure. Fear. So, well, we can only try, right? Right. Okay. And although we have tried and tried, at least if you put it out, because I have a friend. And I'm not going to speak exactly about everything about my friend, but I'm just going to say one little thing. She's been through some abuse. Uh, she was uh, molested or something, or either raped or molested. But she's from the Middle East. And she puts videos out, OMG, to the fullest. And there's no views. I'm like, you know, and I'm the one viewing it. So now... I'm thinking the next thing we do is once you put that out there and you just continue doing it and then you make a marketing strategy of how you want to get it out there. How do you want to get more audiences? So you might have to tag special keywords, mm -hmm. things like that you want to put in your description level because there's a section where you there's like a description and so and and you, you want to put what tags you want to put that up there on you know and so she probably is not putting the right tags in there but I'm going to speak with her in two days she's going to be having her um, I'm going to list that underneath this video but she's going to be having her um, how to be happy get the road to happiness and all that I, I can't quote exactly what, because I have to look in my email and see what she was talking about. But she's definitely going to be talking about how she went from being over here of afraid not to speak until speaking. Voicing it out. Feeling free that she could release whatever was going on. Which is awesome. I really love her. Um, her and her sister. I met them in Los Angeles, California. Okay, enough about them. So now that's what you would do, you know. You would approach those things. And fear, that's a natural thing that we all go through. And the more we do it, you get the confidence level up. Uh, failure, every now and then we fail. I wouldn't say that my friend Samia Baino, that's her name, would not because you you need to look her up would would be failing because she actually did something mm -hmm. to fail is not to do and not to act and see she did so I wouldn't say that you would be failing what would be a failure was for you not to actually go through with it because mm -hmm. everyone has a message that needs to get out there and obviously you want to get a message out there and I applaud you for that I appreciate you taking time to let us do this. And so what would be your vision for that particular business, I guess that would be, or your, uh, your task you would be doing, your vision for that task? Do you have a vision? I think you should write down what your vision, like a vision statement Mission statement, vision statement, things like that. So that way you'll know every now and then when you're not having the confidence 
like for instance my vision statement or my mission statement is to help in emotional physical therapy as well as business just to help a person get to the next level who may be at the point where they're just unsure on what the next step may be and if I could just give them a little nudge or if I could just give them a nugget or a pointer or if I could just hear them out maybe they can because all our answers are within us so it'll just come through so that's that's my mission or vision and so then you'll have to come up with your own vision mm -hmm. you don't have to do this right now you'll just have to come up with your own vision mm -hmm. and stuff like that and uh, to get through right before you do your videos uh, you could do the Kirtan Kriya Mantra you know some people do the um you know like that meditation and in others just they do different chants and so on so so you would find something that you would be comfortable with before you could get started if and that can actually build up your confidence level and before you know it you fully filled in the spirit and you've got it going on oh my gosh we're already almost out of time 16 minutes into this so thank you so much do you think that you can go forth now yeah okay well thank you for taking up time to um, listen to me and also um, you can work through whatever problem we have and I'll see you some other time okay so this is the end of this session and I'm glad you took time to video uh, look at our video view it and um, leave comments if you choose thank you and have a great day this is coach Rudy and this was Simone and I think she's gonna be letting out her video soon uh, what would be your screen name huh? I'm not sure at the moment well I'll keep you updated if she has a special screen name that she wants to and I'll just add it in the uh, description below have a great day and oh Samia Bano check her out and I'll have her below this video as well thank you bye